Hi everyone. So Peter Rabbit, so simple, so nostalgic, can be used for so many different things. Easter brunches, baby showers, first birthdays, spring luncheons, whatever works. So I'm going to quickly show you how to set up three different brunch tables. And then I'm also going to finish off at the end by showing you how to quickly toss together a kid's one as well. So let's quickly pop into the other room and I'll show you how to set up. So the first table we're doing is a blue and white pastel Peter Rabbit theme. For the table setting, we're going to grab white dinner plates. You're going to layer that with a pastel blue side plate. I picked mine up from Kmart. Then you're going to fold a white napkin on top and pop a pastel blue bowl to finish it off. We're going to grab two blue and green berry and egg garlands. You can find something similar in terms of colors that match from your home scents or from Michael's, whatever works. And we're going to pop that down the center of the table. From there, we're going to grab a medium sized bowl. We're going to fold a white napkin or two and we're going to pop that in the middle just to hold the Peter Rabbit cutout upright. We're going to take cuttings of wormwood and sage because it's going to carry through the pastel tones. Now we don't want the cuttings to wilt, but we also don't want the cutout to get damp. So you're going to wrap the cutting bases in wet paper towels and you're going to pop those into small sandwich bags. You're going to pop those all around the bowl, keeping the cutout of Peter Rabbit in the center. And then to finish off, we're just going to pop in some pastel blue eggs. Now traditionally egg cups are placed on top of the plates, but I'm going to pop mine onto the side on a small white side plate. For place cards and to finish off that Peter Rabbit theme, we are going to use Peter Rabbit gift bags. You can find them at usually HomeSense or Winners or Marshalls. We are going to just finish this off by stuffing those with white tissue paper and a little gift for your guests. We're going to grab smaller white bowls. We're going to pop that on either side of the centerpiece and we're going to wrap and tape with double sided tape the Wilton's Picket Fence Cupcake Wrapper. And that's going to basically just create this cute little country feel. For our table, I'm going to grab Mrs. Rabbit's currant buns and we're going to pop those in and the recipe is on the blog. So finally, we're going to take the smallest bowl. Ideally, we're going to fill them with pastel colored eggs for eating, but smaller pastel candy eggs are another option. So our second theme is a yellow Peter Rabbit theme. And basically we are taking inspiration from the Peter Rabbit paper napkins and the paper plates. And we're basically just gonna carry that color all the way through. So we're starting by unfolding the patterned paper napkins. And you're gonna lay those down and use that as a placemat. From there, you're gonna grab your large circular dinner plate. I'm gonna pop that on top. Then you're gonna layer that with the square Peter Rabbit paper plate. And what you're gonna have is the rounded edges of the dinner plate should be peeking out around the edge. For the centerpiece, we're keeping it really simple and carrying some of that yellow through. So we want that yellow from the Easter daisies to tie into the yellow elements of the Peter Rabbit items that we're using. So we're popping the daisies into a pitcher of water for a country feel. And then I'm pulling through a little bit more of that green by grabbing two pots of parsley and sitting that on either side in white little bowls for a fresh look. I'm grabbing a large white cake stand and popping little cups of yogurt and using uh, the Peter Rabbit cupcake wrappers. From there, you've got small little egg cups that are layered on a mini and then a small saucer and placed where the water glass would normally sit. As I've said previously, egg cups are usually placed on the plate. However, with this design, I really couldn't cover it up. To finish it off, you're wanting things like a white teapot and teacups preferably with chamomile, which is what Mrs. Rabbit would serve, and pop that onto a long white platter just to pull it all together. Our third table is inspired by Mr. McGregor's garden, so we are bringing the vegetables in to make up the centerpiece. We're gonna start by grabbing a white pitcher. We're gonna fill that with some ice water and toss in a few ice cubes to keep the water really chilled, because this is gonna keep our leaves and our stems nice and perky. So in that pitcher, we are first popping in a bunch of baby carrots, and we are grabbing some brown twine to wrap around the stems just to keep it all together. You're gonna to do the same with the specialty lettuce. Ours still has its roots still attached, but we're gonna pop those into medium-sized bowls with the ice water and the ice cubes, and pop that on either side of the pitcher with the carrots. In the lettuce, you're gonna grab a wooden skewer and press that in, and that's gonna hold up Mr. McGregor 
a cutout in one of the lettuce and you're going to do the same for the other lettuce and pop in Peter Rabbit as he's popping into the watering can. Basically the skewers are there just to keep them from tipping over. For the table setting we are going to pop out some rustic placemats then you're going to layer those with a large dinner plate then a side plate on top. So the side plate is going to support a mini wooden cutting board which is nice and rustic Finishing it off though, we're gonna pop in a mini terracotta pot. So we've lined ours with white cupcake wrappers and filled it with little pats of butter. You're gonna pop this on top and team it with a mini butter knife and two little slices of brown wholemeal bread. To match the mini terracotta pots, we used a small terracotta pot base and holds a mini saucer, a mini egg cup and topped with a mini glass cloche. For one fun look, this table is for the kids. So we're using a combination of the Peter Rabbit items and we're teaming that with an Ikea little tea set. Now it's enough for four kids, it's a 10 piece set, um, but you've got them in yellows, blues, pinks, and greens. So putting this all together, we're using paper napkins to create placemats, cupcake wrappers hide little Easter eggs in the bowl, a mini watering can is filled with lettuce leaves and holds a mini Peter Rabbit. And that Wilton white picket fence cupcake wrapper that we used for a previous table surrounds the watering can and sits on top of a layer of fresh parsley. There's some smaller details as well, like napkins are wrapped around and tied around an Easter egg to look like bunny ears. And then finally, Peter Rabbit gift bags are placed with goodies for each children's place. But these also can be left empty if you were wanting to use these as an Easter egg hunt. So I hope you enjoyed and have a little bit of inspiration from those four different tables. From there, don't forget, we've got lots of recipes on the blog, so you might want to pop over if you're wanting to plan a menu, whether this is for your Easter or for a baby shower, there's lots of ideas to go around.